G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. My name is Sean, and on today's episode, I'm going to do some more repairs to my ride on mower. You might have seen a video put up recently where I was doing some maintenance to the mower and some other bits of equipment that we've got. Well, since then, we've been getting a lot of rain and some warm weather, and so the grass has been growing like crazy. So we've been doing some mowing. And I noticed I've got a bit of an oil leak that I want to look at today, try and work out. I think it's probably just a seal or an O-ring that we can replace. And also, the belt that drives the mower blades um, has been dropping off, falling off. So I need to have a look at that and try and prevent that happening each time. It's very frustrating. So I'll try and work out what's going on and fix these problems. We'll start with the oil leak. And what I've noticed is this bit around here is damp with oil. And what I've traced it back to is where the filler pipe goes into the engine itself. There's a little bit of movement there. Hopefully you can see that. And so I think there'd be a, a, either an O-ring or a seal of some description just in here. So it looks like there's one little bolt up the top here that we can remove. And I think then that should all just come off and pull that up. What I will double check though, is how much oil will be in there. So at the moment the oil is sitting there. Okay, so I'm going to have to grab a container, drain out some of the oil before I pull that out because when I pull that out, oil is in, because it appears that oil will be up to sort of here somewhere at least. Um, so I don't want oil going everywhere. So I'll grab a little container. Oh, okay. So there's actually a rubber seal on top. That is quite old and perished. So, all right, I'm going to have to go to the shop to uh, find one of those. So I'll just put this back together for the time being. I'll pull that dirt out of the way. Sit this back all together for the moment, and then get another one and replace that. Come back and fix the oil leak when I get that other seal. So now what we'll do is we'll drop out the cutting deck. First thing to do is lower it to lower setting. Right, so underneath the mower here, there's a few connection points. So there's one, two, I need to just to remove that bar. And then at the back of the cutting deck, it's a bit hard to see underneath here. But up here, we need to remove the, that pin and there's one on the other side as well. And then this bar here, we also need to remove uh, most of it just done well, there's basically little um, rods that go through with quick release sort of stuff so they all should come out pretty quickly so we'll try and uh, drop this down and then drag the cutting deck out This is 
the cutting deck obviously and the way it sort of works is on these two here when you raise and lower it it's what adjusts this the way this attaches to the mower the front two are just fixed through a couple of pins up there and that holds it so when it raises and lowers it's really just the back of it that's actually coming up and down uh, the belt meanders its way in and around all of these and that goes up the front and the engine sits up there and spins it and this here this is actually the tensioner and there's an adjustment here and I'm not sure whether down is tighter or up is tighter so what I'm going to do though is undo this there's a lock nut on it and just screw it back up you know at least half the way back up here and I think that will give us more movement and then more tension on it and that should fix the problem I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work but I think that's the way it works so I'll uh, grab a shifter we'll undo this and yeah, see how it goes. All right, well, I've put the mower outside, so I might just drag this out and sit it underneath it and put it back together. Well, there we go. The deck raises up and lowers down again. So that's good. I won't fire it up and test it at the moment because I still need to put more oil in it, but I'm gonna get that seal first. So once I've got the seal, then we'll put oil in it, test it, and make sure that the belt's not coming off anymore. So we'll come back then. So I've been thinking about the adjustment we made trying to tension the belt for the cutting deck to engage that. And the way it works is just this lever here. So we put that up and that engages it and then that disengages it so when we look down here so if I engage this now you can see that move and basically pulls that rod that we adjusted a little bit hard to see under here but um, and so what I've done is the way I've adjusted that is I've actually made that tensioner not move as far which means it's not going to tension the pulley and then hence the blades aren't going to tension so what I need to do is maybe drop the deck again I might just put it at a slower setting first and see if I can get in there. I know before it was tensioned as far as it would go, so I need to see if I can do something else there. So I might have to pull the whole cutting deck off again. I'll um, I'll have a look. So we'll we'll drop it down first anyway and have a look. All right. So I've dragged this out from underneath the lawnmower, and so this is the bit that attaches that engages the cutting deck. And so what it's doing is when it engages it just pulls this forward so the other day when i lengthened this wound it out actually was making it so that it was less tensioned and where this was was as far down before as it was and it was still obviously not having quite enough tension on it so i'm going to undo this and take this off and just have a look and see there's a couple other holes here that i might be able to use uh, but otherwise just have a better look and, and see what other options we've got here to basically bring this down away further and that way it will put more tension I've had to replace the belt once before and so it's a few years old now but I know the belt's stretched but gee I wouldn't have thought it'd be such an issue so um, I don't want to have to go and buy another belt so we'll pull this off and have a look at it I did find that the belt was actually had a twist in it and I'm not sure if that's a big issue or not but basically everything else is just a bit sloppy um, the metal here is slightly elongated 
the metal at the end here is slightly elongated. So there's a couple of spots where when this sits in, uh, there's just a bit of slack. And I think it's just a number of those things that are just giving it a bit too much length. Uh, and there's not much else I can actually do with it apart from either drilling another hole in up there or doing something weird and wonderful. I don't really want to do that. You can actually buy these bits and pieces to sort of replace it if need be. But at the moment, I don't really want to spend any more money on uh, on the ride on. So I think what I'm going to do is just put it back the way it was, making sure I've got everything, you know, the best I can tight wise and in, in the right places and see how we go. If I need to spend some money on it later, we'll, I'll go down that path. But uh, at the moment, I don't think I will. So for the moment, I'll just go and grab a new split pin to put under this one to attach it, and then I'll be able to put everything else back together. So we'll do that now. days and the part has now arrived for the new seal for this so we'll pull this off replace this seal I believe it's just a push fitting so it should be nice and simple old one out new one in So just a simple press fit. There we go. So we'll just top that back up with oil. That looks really good. So I'll keep an eye on that, but that seems to have uh, sat down there nicely and certainly a lot tighter feel and seal than uh, the previous one. So that should stop my oil leak that I've had dripping down there. If you saw a previous video I put up about doing some maintenance on the ride-on and some other equipment, one of the things I did was cleaned out the air filter and re-oiled the outer foam part of the filter. Uh, and if you saw what I did, I actually used engine oil. I've since found out that that's not really the best option because the oil doesn't stay in the foam filter itself. Uh, it actually leaks out and then it doesn't operate as well as it should. So while I was buying parts, I bought myself a new foam filter and I also bought some proper foam air cleaner oil. Uh, this is just a spray on application. So I'll just quickly do this. So basically get this soaked in oil um, and do the same thing as before, but yeah, lesson learned. Squish out any excess. there we go guys a couple of things easy to fix got that seal replaced so it shouldn't leak oil anymore I will keep an eye on it certainly the first couple of uh, runs that I give it the belt I just tested it uh, without running it but just engaging it and it stays tight and then when I disengage it, it doesn't seem too loose so uh, when the weather finds up and stops raining and get out there and give it a mow hopefully this will work haven't really done a lot to it though to stop it doing it so yeah we will see and also change that air filter uh, the foam element and oil it properly with the right stuff so you got to keep living and learning it's all right but that's all we've got for this episode thank you so much for watching please hit that like and subscribe button we'll catch you next time god bless